Remember how I said Arrow was like the Batman of the Arrowverse? We now have Arrow Beyond. We now have Arrow Beyond, yeah. <laughs> um, so 2046 won. Um, spoiler alerts, of course. One, I was right. <laughs> it was De It is Deagle's son, which is pretty cool. So, the guys go in the future. Um, there's a new Green Arrow. It seems that crime is rampant. And it seems that a certain and there's crime rampant, and it seems that a certain someone brought an army and took over the city. I first thought, okay, is it going to be like are they going to say like if this is Damien Dark or something? No, no, this happens 15 years ago, which then would place it during 2030, 2034, 2030, no, 2033. around there somewhere around there. it was 13 years ago 2031 what the heck am i talking about yeah 2031 um yeah 2031 um so it turns out that everyone thinks oliver's dead um that someone brought came in with an army and took over the city which we find out it's slayed which we find out it's slayed's son who also, if I remember correctly, was part of the Teen Titans originally. Or he became part of the Teen Titans. So, mm -hmm. um, continue on with the what happened. Basically, first they go try to find out what the heck's going on. When they find out about Slade, Slade, um, White Canary and um, the Brit and um, Hunter try to go with White Canary. They have to find, um, the reason why they went out into the city was to find a little con a little thing that's supposed to, a thing that's supposed to help with the AI and make it you know think again because its systems were fried. So they went to they found the green the new Green Arrow um, who is Diggle's son, and he says all of this. Well, first after they helped save him from Slade and stuff, they say he says that their um, that 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 all of Felicity's stuff it was moved from the tower and moved put somewhere else where they then go into the arrow lair the arrow cave and in the arrow cave they find a robotic arm for one and then they find oliver queen which his arm is cut off which i believe many of future like green arrow stories i think i know a few i know um the dark knight rises which this also feels kind of like because it has a lot of gang taking over and stuff like that it's like arkham knight it's, are the Arkham or not Arkham Knight? Um, the Dark Knight, the Dark Knight Rises, by Frank Miller. Before he went, cool, cool. but um, his arm is cut off. He has it all pinned up with a thing. And you saw a robotic arm there, which I'm not sure if that's Oliver's because he later on puts it on. But I'm kind of thinking that might not have originally been Oliver's. I think originally it was Arsenal's. Because if anyone ever read the comic books, or even me, I haven't even read the comic books, mostly I watch the top of the fourth wall, sure. But or if you watch Young Justice, you know that so, when Arsenal becomes Arsenal, when he wasn't speedy anymore, because, you know, that's the difference between Arrow versus that Oliver's sister, which I don't think Oliver has a sister in the comic books, becomes speedy, or nickname, her nickname Speedy. Um, Arsenal is what um the original speedy who was you know the the guy um the guy from teen wolf he's he is the red arrow he, he he's um speedy and then he becomes i think red arrow and then he becomes arsenal and he gets a robotic he gets a robotic arm to replace his arm that he gets like cut off at some point whether it be a young justice be it for cloning or whatever what have you but um yeah they were they find Oliver, he's alive. Oliver says that he's dead inside and everyone else is dead. All of um, White Canary's family, Deagle's dead, his um, his wife, and Green Arrow saying, and um, Oliver's telling the new Green Arrow, um, telling the new Green Arrow, like, why are you wearing that or stuff like that? Why are you wearing the suit? And, you know, the yellow back and forth with that. Um, um, Snark and the Rory, the fire gun guy, 
they get um they first find like some Mad Max like characters or like you know the, the st old fashioned stereotypical apocalypse where this is basically what it is where you dumpsters are on fire there's fire everywhere for some freaking reason everything's destroyed and struck yeah like one of those gangs that usually in that usually with motorcycles and everything combined with this um they come in they try to get all tough on um snark and the rory the fire gun wielding guy fire gun wielding guy knocks out the leader takes his fur coat and basically becomes the leader he says that he wants to stay as the leader of this place snark says no you don't want to do that but the fire guy's like yes yes i do and this basically leads to snark after um slade or slade's son busts breaks into like their HQ, he tells him about on um, white. The slate says, "I want the woman in white and the Brit dead." And Stark says, and Stark tells him, "We got to get out of here. This isn't the place that we should be staying." And the fire guy's like, "No, we should stay here. We should stay here." And he's like, and Stark's like, "No." And he, and he says, "Fine. You know what? Let's go help these two first, and then we'll have this talk." And he goes, "All right, fine." So they leave to go help him, which they do help him, but um. They do help White Canary and um, uh, Hunter, but um, the new Green Arrow, um, Deagle, Deagle Jr., he gets taken. Um, and then on the ship, and then back on the ship, um, Hunter, White Canary, and all of them go on there. Uh, White Canary saying that they have to go help her, go help um, Deagle's son, but um, Hunter says, This is a possible future. This isn't meant, this this eventually will be changed. We don't need to save him because he'll never exist. Which I kind of think there is, of course, you if you ever seen a lot of time travel where they change time, you always have like an alternate universe that is created. Which I kind of like. Um, if you want to go back to the Marvel universe, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. One, I love the the comic book that they had about him where he comes back into the like. I think kind of in the main universe, even though he's supposed to be in another Earth altogether, not Earth 616, but like Earth something, I think 1300, but he goes back in time and he seems to be in the exact same point in time in Earth 616, which kind of got me thinking, okay, what if he went to a point in time in the past before time split up into his future? It could be that at least in theory of how it is time travel goes that the timelines of course each every kind of you know moving like let's say if i say raise your raise up your hand you raise up one hand and it's your right in an alternate dimension you thought okay let me raise up my left creating you know a split timeline thus creating two different timelines and but both timelines have a both converging point the point where you decided to raise your right or your left hand so, so basically right now, you all created a new timeline. Congratulations. But <laughs> um, that being said, what if where Alchemex is, be, like, Earth began or whatnot, or um, Earth, Spider-Man 2099's Earth, um, it still started from Earth 616, but then converted out into this timeline. And I kind of think kind of a similar, kind of, or back to the future, mind you, I'll say, like, um the timeline if you want to go from like the back to the future first one you have uh, marty mcfly's parents being the footstools of i forgot what name buds a uh, bud uh, the bullies being like the footstool of the bully but marty going back in time to that converging point changed the timeline to make it to where bud became the footstool of his family like that if both both timelines happened and both timelines are a possibility of what would happen, but and both timelines are created, just merely separate alternate timelines, and whatnot. Yeah, it's if you're getting a little confused, sorry, but it's kind of something like that. Like Hunter says, this world will never exist. We can't mess with the future because that's as bad as messing with the past. Which I kind of think, not really, no, because and also mind you, like he always says, like the future is always in flux. It's always changing. Well, you, well, no matter, well, I don't know, no matter what, but, like, 
And, like, White Canary also brings up the thing, like, well, you're trying to make us change the future for your family. He's like, no, I'm trying to change the future for change, save the world, not just my family. But, but, uh, what was I saying? I totally went off in a tangent there. But, <laughs> time travel is awesome. But, uh, I'm trying to think. What was I saying? I had a point to my madness, kind of, I think. Did I? I don't know. But, <laughs> Um, time travel, magic, something. What was I talking about? That it cre creates its alternate universe. So even if, oh, that, wherever, like, we are the future of the past. So in 1950, when they're wondering what the future is, this is the future. So if they went to now, so that means this time is always in flux, which means this timeline or the main timeline of the DC universe that they that they came from 2016 or the Arrowverse, that timeline then could also change while they're in it. But it seems more or less like if you're not during if you're not during that point in time, the timeline will change differently. And also something that could probably back me up a bit. One yeah, it could possibly back me up a bit is how. Um, the reverse Flash, quote unquote, dies. I'm not sure if he's dead yet. I haven't seen the rest of the Flash videos. I've been doing. I've been binge watching the last two episodes of uh, uh, Legends of Tomorrow because I actually I like this. I like the show a lot. It's pretty cool. Um, but in what was I thinking of? I was thinking I had a point. Oh, that um. The converging point, like where um, the reverse Flash goes back in time, to goes back in time to find where the Flash is, and then that sets everything in motion for like Barry Allen and stuff like that. Like they say, that's a remnant in the future. Well, it could be, although I guess it could be kind of messed up with that saying. I like everything would be changed still. Everything would still be changed. Everything would still be like as soon as the reverse Flash d is dead. They all should be changed. Barry Allen's mother should not have died because they kind of cut off the bloodline right there. Barry Allen's mother should not have died. Everything else should have can continue. Everything should have went like as if the reverse flash never happened. But the reverse flash is still there and everything happened. I guess you can see hyper time, which I, I kind of guess, yeah, time manipulate, being able to manipulate, but still seems the same. Or it could be that. The reverse flash is now part of a tangent that this flash is now longer a part of. Though it's still though because he came from that one tangent of the future, still changed the past of that timeline. Though mind you, there will always be the timeline where Barry Allen's mother does not die, and then you have the flashpoint and all that. But <laughs> um yeah, it's just time travel. Uh, also on the ship there's a whole thing now where um which was kind of funny. Um Jefferson's trying to get a little bit with Hawk Girl. And but Palmer seems to be kind of like kind of like swooning her a bit, but um, one the professor Stein he's like he gets angry at Palmer he's like why am I angry he's like I'm not angry you're angry he's telling the Jefferson he's like no like you like her don't you he's like yeah yeah and he's like do you just have to be confident put yourself out there and then the professor and so um, Jefferson kind of acts you know trying to swoo her swoo um Hawker a little bit more. And Stein is kind of acting like a wingman, saying, "Do you think about getting with the Hawk Girl to um, Palmer?" And Palmer goes, "No, no." And it, like, and he said, and uh, Stein says, "Like, like she, you've given her some glances, stuff like that. She's given you some." And he's like, "Oh, all right. Well, no, I didn't think about that. We're we're here to save the world, not hook up." And he's like, oh, "Okay." So Stein's like, Stein tells him, like, tells um Jefferson, "Oh, good. Um, yeah, we're gonna." Which I probably should continue with the whole green and everything, but I'll bring that up in a bit. It goes, oh yeah, don't worry. It, he doesn't he doesn't think of her like that. And Jefferson's like, oh good. Then later on, Palmer starts thinking like, like that and tells Stein. And Stein's like, fudge. And then when um, uh, Jefferson sees Stein after that, he's like, you're nervous about something. Why? I screwed up. And he says, he's like, gosh dang it, Stein. He's like, oh don't matter. I didn't think I had a chance anyways. He's like. He doesn't just be confident. Now you just have more. Or he said, or Jefferson says, "Well, all I need to do is be confident." Sure. Now I have a little competition, but sure, I can still be confident. Which then, later on down the line, Palmer kind of asks um, Hawker out on a date for a drink, and she says, "No, with you know my immortal love getting killed, 
and me being a hawk goddess and stuff like that, I don't really think right now is the best time for me to add more nuts to this mix. And he... I, I didn't... Well, I said nuts to this mix, and you can't take that the wrong way. I didn't mean it in the wrong way. But... And Palmer's like, oh, okay. And Jefferson heard it, and he, but then when Palmer walks out, he's acting he's fixing things. And Palmer's like, how much did you hear? And he's like, all of it. He's like, I'm sorry. And Palmer says... Yeah, I know you liked her too, but just so you know, she would have picked me over you. And he goes, yeah, in your dreams. And then cut back to what was happening. Um, the new Green Arrow is about to get his head chopped off because apparently the Sun Slate is the one who cut off Oliver's arm. But before he could get his, before the new Green Arrow could get his head chopped off, White Canary sneaks in, acts a distraction as then Oliver comes in now with the robotic arm and starts shooting arrows. They make the group scatter, They and then they take down um, the new Slade. Which, I like. The, I love Slade from, like, you know, the first seasons of that, because I think around that same time, I finished wa I finished binge-watching all of Spartacus, and I'm like, holy crap, it's Quixus! <laughs> Slade's Quixus! <laughs> and, and then, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of characters from Spartacus... Or a lot of or actors from Spartacus and um and uh Doctor Who in um the Arrowverse, which is kind of cool. <laughs> I like that. It's just freaking awesome. And oh, you can, you also got Missy in um Gotham, though technically that's not still part of the Arrowverse, unless it's going to be, which would be kind of cool. But yeah. but either way, yeah, it was. And like you know, I know different different uh, stations, but it would be kind of cool to have them all meeting, especially since we now got Constantine in Arrow. Which, though, yeah, his show's canceled, which kind of stinks. It would be kind of cool to see it continue. But yeah, um, it was pretty. But yeah, they save Green Arrow, and um, Arrow says that basically that he's passing the torch on to Diggle Junior, John Junior, and um. Everyone feels happy. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, Hunter sends everyone else out to back them up, sending Firestorm, Adam, and so on, and Hawkgirl to the help. They take down the bad guys. I forgot what they do with Slade's son, but then the new, the two Green Arrows, old and new, decide to work together to try to fix their city, and then basically everyone's hunky dory. Um, White Canary says thank you because you know the whole thing where Hunter says that. Where Hunter got an argument about like saving, changing the future and stuff, and they say, and he says, "Don't worry about it," something like that. And then basically they say, "Well, now it's time. I know our next plot, of course, and it's to hit him before he knows that we're gonna hit him or something like that." So I don't know if they're gonna go to Random Savage's past before they need him or sometime. I don't know, but it's gonna be pretty cool. And I definitely want to see what I want to see what's gonna happen. Like if they if like the ending of season one is going to be them taking down Randall Savage. What the fudge is going to be what the fudge is going to happen like what is going to be the next bad guy? Like are they going to fight Cronus for the next season or something? Is it going to be another against the Time Lords? or the time, I forgot what the fudge they're called. But something like that. I don't know. But I, I thought it, I definitely want to see wh how, what they're going to keep going what they're going to keep doing with this um Series because it's it seems like it's just gonna be fun. Also, apparently, one um, White Canary kind of blame White Canary kind of blames herself a bit for the ter messed up future because they said that uh, Oliver says that um, White Canary and Adam never came back. So, but he's but even Arrow says I'm not gonna say that because if you guys were here it would have made any difference. But she says if we would have been here we could have saved him. I'm th we could have fixed all this. I'm thinking. He just said it wouldn't. Unless now with their knowledge of the future, they say, yeah, these guys are coming, which then would create an entire paradox. But then again, hyper time. So, you know, that could solve anything, everything. But either way, it was a pretty fun episode. want to see what the heck's going to happen next. I don't want to look at, you know, like, next time on Legends of Tomorrow. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Watch my videos I've done. Please hit the link in the description below. Please check out all my videos. It is fun. Tell me. Any other things you might want me to review and such, but thank you all so much for watching. Check out all my videos, and we will. See you later.